Hi everyone, this is Africa and first of all happy holidays and today I have our special guest again as you can see I convinced him <laughs> to get in front of the camera again so we're lucky today we are going to do a video about the perspective the male perspective uh, on natural hair he's gonna be talking about from the perspective of a husband or perspective of a boyfriend or a couple uh, as a male how he feels about natural hair and then from the perspective in general as a man how he feels about natural hair hi Johnny hi how are you doing <laughs> I'm doing well how do you do <laughs> okay first question what is your opinion of natural hair um, I like natural hair uh, very much it uh, looks very good and uh, yeah, it just looks very good. I like natural hair. Okay. Did you know much about natural hair before I went natural? Um, actually, I did not know very much about natural hair um, before you went natural. I thought all hair was natural hair. I didn't know that uh, black girls or even white girls use synthetic hair or wigs. Um, it's not until very recently that I realized the prevalence of synthetic hair in black women and even white girls too and I've heard that even some Latinas use synthetic hairs as well and extensions which was even more surprising than the fact that most black girls use synthetic hair so yeah now he can stop looking uh, whenever he comes home he tells me I forgot I saw this girl she was wearing a weave and this and that or um, whatever like now he's really aware of hair in general not just natural hair but also weaves and everything else. They find it really funny. Next question. As a man, when you were single, were you more attractive to natural hair ladies or girls with straight hair? Or did you not even know the difference back then? I guess I didn't know the difference but I've always been attracted to wild, um, curly-ish, wavy hair. Um, I've never been that attracted to straight hair. Um, there was a phase in my life where I liked, you know, Wendy from, uh, I mean, Wendy Wednesday from the Adams Family or that one girl from uh, Beetlejuice. So I did like black, straight, straight hair. But that was, you know, uh, just a, a phase. I guess in retrospect, I was attracted to girls with natural hair. Um, straight hair has, even in black girls, straight hair has never been necessarily the. Uh, um, something that I've been uh, attracted to. I've always liked uh, curly wild hair. Yeah, whenever I have like a twist up, even when I didn't really know how to do twist outs and braid outs and they all look crazy and really frizzed up and funky, he always liked those. There's a show that we watch, Friends. No, it's not Friends, what am I talking about? It's um, Springfield? No. That show I don't even like. It's like a whole bunch of Jewish guys, and one of them does a stand-up guy. Jewish? Jewish people. And there's a woman. She's the only lady in there. You're talking of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. No, we don't watch that show. I don't watch that show. It's a show that Probably I don't really Jewish. watch. You watch it. It's, um, there's this tall guy, uh, Fraser. That's his name. Oh, um, um, Seinfeld. Seinfeld. And, and there's this Frasier. lady. <laughs> Fraser's a different show, and I don't think they're Jewish either, but... There's this lady and she has this huge curly hair and yeah, she likes it. Um, I always forget her name, but yes, yeah, her hair is, is the type of hair I've always been attracted to it, in women for as long as I can remember. Basically, the way I would describe it is 90s, 90s hair. It may be an incorrect description because they, it's possible that they had it around the 80s too, you know, when they wore all those colorful tights and stuff. But um, I describe it as 90s hair where, you know, all the girls in the videos they have these big you know, wild, curly, lots of body hair, yeah, like Elaine. Did you um, ever wonder why most black girls had different hair? Meaning girls with straight hair, others with afros, others with braids. Did you ever wonder, like, was that white? Or you were not even, that wasn't something you were to... Yeah, I mean, I've always noticed that um, black girls have different kind of hair. They have, um, Three different uh, categories. They have the curly Afro hair, and those have always associated with party girls. Um, they have the, the party girls. Party, okay. Um, you know, black power type of thing. 
Oh, um, oh, like... Um, not like party no. painter, I mean, just party as... No, when you say party, friend. I thought like club, clubbing. Yeah, the, well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, like clubbing or yeah, hanging out type of thing, young, that kind of stuff, trendy. That's what I've associated the, the curly, kinky hair with. And the black power movement, of course. There's also the girls with straight hair. Those I've always associated as more high class, business, uh, I've always regarded them as more serious. And then, of course, there is... There's one more. Yeah, oh, braids and weaves. Uh, braids. Um, a lot of, I, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between braids and weaves, but um, just braids in general. Um, I've always thought that was kind of ghetto. Um, even at some point when Alicia Keys had braids, I thought that was like, whoa, why would someone like her have uh, be wearing braids? Why? Why did you think braids are ghetto? Like, I think professional women with braids that look really classy and look... Cool. At home makeup, one of our old jobs, there was this lady... I don't think I've ever seen lady. a woman in braids that looks professional. Um, what? What? Except for Alicia Keys, of course, but you won't ever see an anchor woman or... Alicia Keys look professional? She just looks attractive and sexy, I mean, she's, that's not, not professional. I mean, she's not sexy. Um, <laughs> she may be attractive, but not sexy. Um, but, I mean, you see Alicia Keys as a businesswoman. Um, and, you know, she's going to be wearing, you know, some nice shirt or nice blouse and, you know, something that's in fashion. And yeah, the braids will go with that, but you wouldn't expect to see an anchor woman or a reporter or a senator or you wouldn't expect to go uh, into a, your bank, your local bank, and uh, try I to I see people at account. the bank with braids that wear their suits and look good. And also, the reason why you don't see an anchor woman... Maybe guys, I don't think about... Um, no, no, girls. ladies. I've seen guys in, in Ladies, in at the Wells Fargo in Natomas, there's a lady North there. North Natomas or South North Natomas? Natomas. South Naples is like our ghetto area, but uh, anyways, what I'm trying to say is that the, I should probably just um, say that <laughs> the reason why anchor ladies don't have braids is because of that whole problem. The perspective right now is that the beauty, the professional image is to have a straight hair, uh, well put together hair, even if you had a braid out that's neat and nice and curly, they'll probably look at you like, hmm, you know, and and this is the perfect little curve. That's the reason why you don't see don't an think, anchor I, woman okay. with braids. Okay, that's not, that's not true. That's not correct. Um, because if you went into your local um, bank or you were going to do any kind of a serious business deal that has to do with something serious, I'm not talking about your freaking uh, your fast food restaurant, you're going, you're going into Home Depot to buy something. Oh I my mean, God. like an actual deal that has some, you're entrusting somebody with your money. Um, if it was a white guy, you would not buy, uh, you would not take him seriously if he was wearing braids. Of I'm course sorry, you would you take would him not. seriously. If no, he's wearing Johnny, this is the same issue I had when I felt uncomfortable wearing twists to work. Uh, I made a video about it. It's because I felt that, oh my God, my twists are not professional enough. But if you wear professional attire, yeah, you, you speak correctly. You don't have the ghetto, you know, accent or you don't, you know, speak, you know, your English is proper English you are serious, you know, you, you're knowledgeable about whatever you're selling to them or whatever service you're giving to them. Yeah. You're wearing a suit. Are you saying you're not going to take them serious? Like, how can you no. not take them serious? Like, what else do you want them to do for you to take them serious? Like, part your hair or something, comb your hair, don't wear braids. It's not, it's because um, you're trying to make it about a racial thing, but my point braids is Braids are just no, a style. You're trying, to make it, you're trying to make it about a racial thing. And it's not, a, my point is that it's not a racial thing. It's just a style thing. Um, if I have, you know, the spiky things on my suit or something, it's, it sends out the same message like, uh, no, braids are some, supposed to be something casual. Um, it's not supposed to be something that you wear uh, to business. It's not something that you expect to see someone professional. Okay, let me, we're, we're about to drop and move on to the next question, but let me just um, ask you something so I can get him on, on the point that he just made. It's something that you would expect to see on a boxer. <laughs> Anyways, let me just make a point. Yeah, someone, let me just make a point. Get into a fight. Dreads. Guys that wear dress locks. I'm not talking about women, but guys. Okay. Men that wear dreadlocks. I've been seeing uh, more often 
men that wear dreadlocks and that are at the bank, you know, they have them knitted in a ponytail. Or sometimes they still have them like laid down. They're wearing their suit, they're nicely shaved, they still look clean and professional. And do you, are you telling me that you still wouldn't take them seriously? They dreadlocks speak dreadlocks they... are a different, um, that's a different uh, issue because dreadlocks are not the same as braids. They're not in. Um, dreadlocks are not the same as braids. Um, well, an issue. Well, it's the same okay, type it's of a look. Different topic. It's the same um, type of look. It is not the same type of look. Dreadlocks do tend to be a little bit, uh, they do tend to look a little nicer. Um, and I hesitate to use this word, but I would say less threatening. Um, dreadlocks, and also the, the fact that they can be associated with somebody's religion. You're not going to um, not do business with someone because of their religious religion, right? I mean, at least I wouldn't. I don't know about some people out there, but um, dreadlocks could be associated with uh, your religion, and it would be unfair to ask someone to uh, change their hair because you don't agree with their religion. Or as corn rolls or, dre or um, what do you want to call it? Braids. Braids are not. I lost my point. I was going to make a really good comeback point when you were talking and I lost it. But I think it's really interesting that you think braids are less professional, they're more casual, they're more threatening than natural hair. Like, are you saying, and this is because I'm, you know, we, most natural girls tend to texture, you know, make some texture out of it, making a braid out or twist out. But you know my natural hair and the, and the,